Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. In the previous video, we have defined the dummy data for the posts. Now, in this video, what we will try to do is we will try to show this post data, get the post, get the list of posts from the NGRX state and list show the list of or uh, show the posts in the post list component. Let's try to show this data. Now, what we need to do, we have already added this one in the app module in the app producer. This app producer, what it will contain, it will contain the counter and the post. Fine, it's nice. Now, here, what I can do is here in the post list, let's try to import the store, store colon, okay, store. And here, what we need to do, we need to give the structure of the store. So, now the structure of the store has been changed. Why? Because it is consisting of it is consisting of the counter and also the post so how we can show here so counter and then i need to give the structure of the counter and post i need to give the structure of the post also so this could be a very big tedious job so what we can we do is so what we have did for uh, fortunately we have added the app state right we can directly give the app app state here so this should be imported from the app state so now it has become in the, this app state what it will do this one will contains the structure of this one counter counter and this comes from the counter state counter state has a structure of this one post has a post state has the structure of this one so that means in the counter also what we can do we can go to the counter custom counter ts and here we can change and we can take the directly app state we can include this app state and here in this counter output also we can change this counter into the app state so that app state will be automatically updated you will be updating the app state whenever new module is added you will be updating the app state so there is no need to come again to this module and to change it again now we have did some better refactoring we have did here so i can change it to app state okay so this one is done let's try to see the output whether this one is working or not so if it refreshes go to the counter and if you click here See, it is working fine without any problem okay so now let's go to the post here now we need to show the post data so how we can show the post data let's close this counter module and open this post module and here we have implement we have we have injected the store and now we need to get the post so what we need to do so in order to get the post data in order to get the counter data what we have did we have created a selectors if you try if you remember we have created a selector using create feature selector and the create selector let's try to do the same for the posts also so here is the post module and in this state i am creating a new file that is nothing but the post.selector.ts okay now in this one what i will try to do constant get post state whatever the name you want you can give create feature selector i am creating the feature selector we need to give the state what is the type of state you are trying to give and the name so here you can give the posts okay so this is how we are we are representing this one in the reducer so that is nothing but what i can say is if you go to the abstract here yeah, this is the name what we are trying to do now here let's i will write export constant get post is equal to create selector of so we need to add this get post state comma it will return the state and here i can return state dot post okay so we have added the state dot post also now let's try to use this get post so where we need to use is in the post list dot component dot ts so here i will try to create one variable post it will take observable of post we need to import the post here so the post is nothing but the model we are importing post model and this one will take array of post model right post and here what i will try to do this dot post is equal to this dot store dot select and here what i can do get post this should be imported from the selectors so get post state where it is get post here it is selected from the selectors so fine we got the post data now let's try to show the post in the html here what i will try to do is dot row dot call hyphen b hyphen 12 okay i am writing here post list or something like this okay so here i will 
change it h3 okay post list and here what i will try to do table class is equal to table table hyphen stripe okay now here what I, what i will write t head so in this t head i will write tr and here th id and here you will be having the title and here you will be having the description so these are the four things and here i can go t body and i can write tr and this tr we need to loop over so how we can loop over ng for so import this ng for post of post okay so now this post is of async right so add a pipe async use the async here now td and here post dot id and in the same scenario post dot title description so these are the things what we are having in the post now let's try to see the output if i go here if i counter if i post see we are able to see successfully see the post data so this is entirely coming from the you need to remember from the store so here if we try to see the post dot state dot ts so we have the same data so let's try to see change the data why because these are these two are looking one and the same so now see we have got the data from the ngrx store yeah we have did the counter and we have did the posts also post module also we are able entirely we are using the store concept only so we have moved so far deep into the what you can say ngrx but not yet completed we need to go little, so much we have reached half of the thing only so this is how we have implemented the we will be implementing the post mo post concept and also the we have used the two modules so now what we will try to do is we will try to do the add post update post and all those things we will try to do we will try to do it in the next video what we have did this one is here you need to remember the selectors concept so what are the what is that one is selectors concept so here this is the selector we have used so we have created a feature selector and we get post this is the performance so this this type of getting this one is the performance we can raise the performance and also what i can what i can show you is i can show you one thing what is that one is if you go to the post list dot component dot html we can write the v uh, v not v if v if is the if. what i can say that one is view concept ng if okay sometimes i will be confusing with, uh, with the angular view and react so we can write something directly condition here and i i can use as post data something like this we can keep it so here i can use something like this okay so we this post data will be saved here and i can directly use this post data variable here so this is also one type of scenario how we can use so this is also we can maintain so now if i try to see the output counter posts and if i try to refresh also we will able to get the output so this is also one type of using the async so here if you want to keep the if condition so you'll be having a doubt right so that is the reason i have keep if you want you have the if condition you can keep it and you can do it like this okay or otherwise you can do if not off like this also i can keep and i can check it okay so now uh, that is out of concept so this is how we can check the if condition for the async variables also so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you